It doesn't look like it, but this is the first time in forever that there's actual sun outside. So I'm thinking, oh, there we go. See, I can film. I'm gonna film shortly, just like little unboxings. Um, but yeah, I know this is so messy, but I was, I was cleaning this, well, reorganizing a bit yesterday and I need to dust. So I'm gonna take everything off and then dust. Clean this out. I started kind of taking the Christmas stuff off of here and this is gonna go. This is gonna be the first Christmas stuff to go. Um, yeah. But my desk is pretty clean because I've been journaling. I do have all this though to put away. But pretty clean with all my garbage. It's cleaning. Oh, lots of unboxing of pens. I got these. So Tom got me this and then Elaine got me this. So there's, I have two of those to unbox with you. They're both um, feud nibs. And then two more platinums to unbox. I already unboxed one, which I tried to film the other day. Hopefully it's good. Like I said, this, today is the first day that there's actual sun out, so it's nice. It's been very gloomy and rainy, and here's Liam. Hi. <laughs> Nadie. Look at the mess over there. All the toys. And Tom, what are you doing, Tom? <laughs> It's a, yeah, it's a different um, brand than our old one. The old one is called Cooks. This has more things. Oh boy. I only use it. So yeah, you can make two broth, meat stew, bean, chili, poultry, rice. Rice. I don't believe it. This is my rice cooker. I need to, I need to do dishes. It's gross. Oh my, get down. Liam, come on. Get down. Sassy. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Look, Tom got seeds for the garden. What do you mean, ew? <laughs> got cucumber, lemon. Is that cuke? Is that how you say that, Tom? Cucumber. Lemon cuke. Oh. And then this one, melon, petite gris de renas. <laughs> mm, Tom said this is sweet, so we'll see. Yep. When do you have to um, plant these by? I'm gonna look it up. I want to get some other seeds too, but I don't have to buy them in the spring because when they get shipped now, they'll freeze in the mail and they'll die. Yeah. All right. My lips are so dry, but so messy over here. What? Oh my gosh! It doesn't have the extra piece. It has this rubber thing that pulls out. Oh, so it doesn't have the yeah. the top thing. So it's easier to clean, I think. We'll see. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Instant pot. What are you cooking again? Chicken. Barbecue chicken. <gasps> He's the only one who's been eating this. Well, my parents had some, but that's all that's left. Liam devoured all the chocolate reindeers. Sassy. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I forgot about it. Okay, let's open the rest. There's only like four left, so... It's okay. So this one is Howl's for number four. I can't believe I forgot this. It was just like sitting over there behind my nutcrackers. Kind of like out of sight. So that's probably why. <gasps> we have... This is cute. We have Calcifer, which makes sense. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then we have another Howl's. This one has turnip head on it. <laughs> wait, wait. 
This is cute. Oh, I like this. I love turnip head. It's so big though. Turnip head. That's a cute one. I actually really like this and calcifer. Oh, I like this one a lot. Okay, and then we have another ponyo. I'm hoping this will have actual ponyo because the other one is just a bucket. Oh, it does. It does. It does. Okay, I can get it. Okay. It's Ponyo! Look at her! Look at her! Look how cute she is. Ponyo. Okay, and last but not the least is Totoro. And I am seeing a necklace in here. Like a, a chain. Oh, shoot. What? <gasps> Oh, this is the cutest Totoro charm yet. All my other ones are flat, and this one I see kind of has like a shape to it, which is really cute. Oh, this is a whole necklace. So the last one is a whole necklace with Totoro. So I like that it's like rounded like that because all my other charms are not. They're just flat. So that's really, really cute. Oh wow, oh I love this. I'm gonna put all my charms on it so I don't lose them because I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. Okay, I'm gonna do it in order. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna put on my planner? So, my Hobonichi Weeks actually took the th strings off of it, but you guys know I like to, um, What's it called? I like to put charms on my traveler's notebooks. So that I can do. Oh, this one's cute too with Haku. There's so many. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to keep it on here. Because I don't know how else to store them. But this is adorable. Look at all of these. Cute little charms. I'm gonna go show Liam. These are cute. I love it. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day and I just walked in my room or my office and <laughs> this is what my... I left this like this. Um, I filmed my planner and journal lineup for 2024, like the official. I know I feel like I did one but then I, I changed it like twice so I filmed it last night and this is this is the aftermath I also finished filming one of my pen videos which I'm hoping to get up um, really soon too so yeah and oh my gosh you guys look look we got a light dusting of snow I wonder if we're gonna get more today I hope not I, and by the way, sorry, I just literally woke up. I didn't even wash my face or anything yet. Ugh. Um, but anyways, oh wow, what is that? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm hoping we don't get any snow because we're actually going somewhere tonight for a New Year's Eve party. And that, that to me is like, wow, you guys are actually going somewhere because we never go anywhere. We usually just have a friend come over or something. Or not do anything at all um, so yeah but we got invited to a party um, so yeah I'm hoping good weather because it is at night obviously and it's like I want to say my friend's house is like 18 to 19 minutes away from me it's in town you know we live out here in the country <laughs> in the countryside so yeah, I'm just hoping it doesn't snow anymore and we have good weather, so driving at night will be, you know, a breeze. But anyways, just came in here because I wanted to journal. I, you know, I've been just kind of taking it easy the past few days since we're just home and all that. So I didn't journal. Hold on a second. Is this in there? So I didn't get to journal, or I didn't, I chose not to journal because, yeah. So, 
This is the 29th, the 30th. I need to print off photos for the 30th. And again, today is the 31st. So, oh my gosh. I can't believe it, y'all. I can't believe it. And um, yesterday, I didn't show it in my video because, I don't know, it was just like, you know, a planner lineup. It wasn't like decorate with me or anything. But <clears throat> this is my memory keep for 2024. It's a one notebook. And I did film myself putting this on the moth uh, little charm that I got from Fable England it's so cute I love it and I chose to use the pink one only um, I tucked in the the green I'm not sure if you can see that see there's a green ribbon in the back too I tucked it into the back of the notebook just because I don't need two little things so, yeah, I didn't do much here. I just kind of decorated the pockets. I chose a few ephemeras. I always have some type of little bookmark. I plan on putting my information in the back of these. Um, but yeah, that's all that I did. I didn't do anything. Oh, I found this. I thought this was really cute. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Happy little moments. Maybe I'll put it on a title page. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, and then this one, I kind of decorated. I added this cute bear. I did this off camera. I was thinking of putting this guy in the front, but I wanted to keep this classy, I guess. So he's there. So it's kind of like a cute little hi. I was thinking of putting him in here, but it, it's a little too big and I want to use all the pockets. So anyways, I have this cute little thing, and I just have, <laughs> this is like a, actually a tag from an item I purchased. Yeah, I just added like cute little ephemeras in there. Um, I didn't do anything here either. I don't know what to do yet. You guys know, like, it takes me a while to commit to officially have a vibe for my journals, but I did fill out my December, um just the events and stuff like that that we did in december i don't plan on um doing these right away i feel like i'm gonna do these every end of the month just so like this is the final things that we did you know what i mean but yeah definitely minimal decorations i love how this turned out it's so cute but that's all that i did i didn't do anything yet i didn't do any journaling um, what else did I do? Oh, this one is my garden garden um, notebook. I found this. I thought that was super fitting. So I was going to put it here on the title page, but I'm like, ooh, I'll do it here. And I plan on doing um, a calendar on the side, like March, I think, is when I want to start. But yeah, I don't know. What else? I think that's all that I did. Um, the past two days, but yeah, I need to put all this stuff away. Like, can you believe this is kind of, oh, here, hold on. This is 2023, y'all. That's 2023. I love it. Um, this one, though, is going to be carried over. So, and then these are my inserts for when we travel. You're wondering, but this right here is 2024, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Five things. Oh, plus my weeks, sorry. Six. But really, like, just for 2024, I don't count this because this is kind of just like a whatever notebook that will be carried over. Same with this one. This is my gardening notebook that will carry over over the years. So really, this is my 2024 lineup. Two, three, four. Little things. Designated for 2024 only. Okay, so that's about it. <laughs> maybe I'll vlog later. Um, again, we're going somewhere tonight. So maybe I'll show you guys my outfit. Because I posted my outfit for the Christmas party. And a lot of you were like messaging me. I posted it on Instagram. And a lot of you messaged me like, oh my god, where's this and this and this. So... Maybe I'll post it on Instagram again, but I'll also show it here on the vlog. 
my outfit for tonight. Um, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. They said like sparkles, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to wear. But I was told that the color of the year for 2024 is emerald green. It's like we already wore green for the Christmas party. Like me, Tom, and Liam wore green. So I don't know what we're going to do for New Year's. Maybe we'll do green again, but we'll see. I have to dig in my closet and see what I have. Okay, bye for now. All right. It is almost 5 or 4.30. And this is my outfit. We're going to leave soon. But this is just like a sequin, kind of like a halter top. It's actually a peplum, but I tucked it in. And I'm wearing this skirt. I had a green skirt, but I can't find it for the life of me. I think I got rid of it because it was a size too big. So anyways, I'm just wearing pink and then just some flats because it's indoor and I'm most likely going to take my shoes off. And this is the bag. So yeah, this is just my outfit. Super simple. I'm thinking of wearing a cardigan or bringing a blazer, but I don't know. I might get too hot, but I mean, I do have just like a black blazer, so I might just throw that on. But super simple. There you go. I'm just waiting on Tom to get ready and um, Liam's ready so yeah <laughs> here's my makeup super simple I did put on some shimmery eyeshadow though which I never do but I'm like okay it's New Year's let me put a little bit of glitter on there but yeah this is just honestly my normal makeup I do this every day um yeah I, I do have lippy on though I usually don't wear a lipstick but this is just a lipstick from NARS. It's called Take Me Home. It's one of their like pencil, lip pencil things. Love it. Oh, and then of course a lip balm over. Hi loves, happy new year. Today is January 2nd. Last time I talked to you was I think New Year's Eve and oh my goodness, it was so much fun. But also towards the end of the night, Liam hurt himself at the party. So it was kind of a bummer, but it's fine. He just has like a little cut on his face little but a little bit deeper than you know if he like this is the first time he's ever hurt himself and actually bled so we were a little bit concerned but he's fine we were gonna like bring him to the urgent care that night but it's closed because it's new year's eve so we had to wait till the next day but the doctor looked at it he doesn't need stitches um so we're just hoping it'll heal properly and like not scar so much if anything but yeah he's fine you guys will probably see it later when i vlog with him but if he wants to be in camera um but anyways right now i oh my gosh i was supposed to do this yesterday but you know yesterday morning was just so crazy like we had to go to urgent care super early in the morning and then after that liam's still like he's fine but it's not like he it hurts or anything um but he's like extra cuddly because he feels bad for what he did i don't know that's just always how he is and i'm always like it's fine like it's not like you meant to hurt yourself you know i try to explain it to him don't feel bad but you know he's still kind of bummed and everything um he kept like looking at his little like band-aid because they had to put like those um you know like the stitch band-aids to help it close better i think it's called dermabond or something um so they had to put one of those on him and he kept looking at it and everything but yeah so yesterday it was pretty much just like spend time with the boys and cuddle with liam extra like a lot because <laughs> he was very cuddly um so I didn't get to do or to pick my winners for my giveaway. I was supposed to do this, but it's just been so crazy during the holidays. I was wanting to do it over the weekend and announce it yesterday. Like, it's just, it's been nuts, okay? So I'm finally on my laptop right now, grabbing all the entries. There's over 100 real entries in the contact form. I'm sifting through it because I've noticed there's some people who filled it out twice and pick different prizes each time. And I'm sorry, that's cheating. Like, you can only have one entry, pick one prize, you can't submit. There's someone here that submitted six entries via the contact form, but each entry is a different prize. 
So that's just not fair for everyone else, you know? So I'm trying to like sift through this and delete those kind of entries and there is a lot. So I'm gonna do this right now and I'll be back and like let you guys know how many actual entries there are, there is. And then I'm gonna go onto YouTube and grab all the comments um, per video pretty much and like tally it up if that makes sense. I don't know, this is just how I do this. But like the main thing really is the contact form. If you mess it up here, you're done. <laughs> So, I'll be back. Right now, there is 103 entries, which is quite a bit. So, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sift through it, and I'll, I'll be back. Oh, there's 90. There's 90 now, so I deleted over 10. Um, there wasn't that, there weren't that many people that did it. It was just like, I don't, I don't even recognize the names of the ones that did it, so that's great. Um, but yeah, now the fun part. I have to go through all the comments. There's so much. Um, so yeah. Oh boy. Okay, I'll be back. This is gonna take me a while to do this because I really want to pick someone who watched it since the very beginning because there's some that you can tell they just started watching because of the giveaway and then the comments aren't genuine you know like it's not even relevant to the video like there's a lot like that so this is a long process i feel like i'm gonna take forever and um, <laughs> i hate doing this i think last year oh no the year before when i went home i had my brother pick the winners <laughs> Because I don't want to do it. Um, but yeah, I gotta do it myself this time. So, Anyways, I'll be back. I still have my coffee here. I barely drank it. And yeah, I don't know. Also, yeah, I dropped Liam off at school today. And I realized <clears throat> while driving, my 7.30 alarm didn't go off. And it's because I didn't even turn it back on. Um... So I always have like a 7.30 alarm for drop off for Liam. That's for Liam and I, like that's for me to make sure that we're already in the car and going at least at 7.30. And then I have another one at 2.40. That's to make sure I'm in the car already to pick him up. <laughs> um, but no, Tom and I almost slept through our alarms this morning. It's like I vividly remember his alarm going off at 5.45. But at the same time, I was so tired that I just, like, ignored it. And then I vividly remember as well that my 6.30 alarm went off. But I was like, no, it can't possibly have gone off because Tom is still sleeping. And then I finally woke up and it was, like, 6.36. And I was like, what, is, what time is it? I feel like, you know, like, your body just knows that you're been, you've been sleeping for so long. <laughs> And I look at the clock, I'm like, oh my god, it's 6.36. And I'm like, Tom, wake up. You have to go to work. Because he usually leaves for work at, at um, 6.45. So he's at work at 7. But yeah, so he was a little, a little late today, but that's fine. Anyways, okay, I need to do this. I feel like I'm just putting it off and talking to you guys. So I'll be back. Okay, you're going to hear Liam because he's running around in my office. <laughs> but I wanted to go over this. I sh quickly shared it with you guys during Vlogmas. But this is um, the Nico Neko box, which I'm not impressed with at all. But we're just gonna. I mean, what what can I do, right? I feel bad if I would return it. I don't even think you can return it, and I don't want to like sell it to someone else for the same price because I don't think it's worth the price. So, anyways, um, I did do a poll over on Instagram regarding this. Like, if you guys also thought the same thing, like, if you think it was worth it. There was a few that said they thought it was worth it, but a lot. Like, I want to say 90% of the people also said this is not worth $118. You heard that right. This, this box, everything in here is apparently worth $118. And, you know, if I go, like, itemize the items, um, it probably is. I don't know. But from experience, I've gotten, you know, holiday boxes or, like, 
you know, surprise boxes from other companies in the past. And usually when companies do these type of boxes, for example, like this is $118, right? That's what they priced it as. The box that you actually do get from other companies is worth more than $118. So like I was expecting maybe something that is worth at least $200 or I don't know. You know what I mean? I hope I'm making sense. It's just like looking at everything in here. This is not, I'm sorry. Like I probably would have, if I had seen this beforehand, I wouldn't have bought it at all. If anything, I would have thought this is like a $75 value or something. So rest assured that I'm not going to be ordering any surprise boxes from this shop ever. Um, I, I do love the shop. I've gotten a lot of stuff from them. They have really cute stuff. But if I can get it elsewhere, I will. Um, there's, you know, what they usually have. There's other Etsy's shops that has the same stuff. Um, also, I did buy um, one of these back in the day, like a journaling set from them back in the day and i found the exact same items over on aliexpress for way cheaper and you guys know aliexpress that's like a dollar two dollars you know like super cheap so like when i realized like these like these cards you can find these on aliexpress you guys like a lot of like really similar items but like i said in the past i actually got the exact same items from aliexpress like for half the price of what I paid for in Nico Neko. I don't know. Anyways, that's aside the point. We're going to talk about these items. So, this is everything that was inside, right? I just took everything off. This is just a packaging tape. Um, okay, so this right here is a little card. Uh, right here. Four by five prints. Just one. Just one print. So, that's that. Um, we have two postcards, which I believe this is $2 each on your website. So just, you know, that's that. I forget how much this is, but I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. Or if they, I, I believe they have um, other prints from this uh, artist over on their site so you know i'll kind of just like scan their site and like give you a price of what they usually have something like this on their website as if that makes sense so you kind of have an idea of what i'm thinking here um so yeah that's the price for that and then these are two dollars a piece on their site i for i forget how much these are i think it was right like around 14 dollars give or take that's like the expensive ones on our website is 14 dollars i think for a pin i mean this is really cute i love this item um so this is you know the most expensive pin on their site is around 14 dollars, i believe so sure let's 14 dollars. would i ever pay 14 dollars for this pin no i don't think so but whatever um this is just a little tag that they put on the thing this is a tea towel i don't know how much this is if i can find it on your site i'll pop it here um these bundles there's not a whole lot i'm gonna open this last so we can see how many really is in there um okay this stamp this is just one stamp oh there's a washi i forget how much these washies are on your site again i'll just pop it here but it's it's just a washi tape you know like literally a washi tape a normal washi tape i don't know I don't know what else to say about that. Um, and then this stamp, usually their stamp, the stamps on their site, I think is like around $8, $12. I don't know. But, I mean, it's just a stamp, you know. This is really cute. Actually, I'm pretty excited about this. So, yeah. Okay. This right here is literally one print, I believe. Yeah, this is just one print. I don't, does it do anything? Is it a sticker? Oh, okay, so this is a washi paper sticker, I think. It's peeling. Is it? Or am I just breaking it? Hold on. Okay, yeah, so this is a washi. Wait, no, it is... Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the sticker sheet. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I kind of like it now. I thought it was just paper, but it's a washi 
sticker sheet. <laughs> that makes it funny. I don't know. I don't know. How much is this? Like, how much is a washi sheet? Like, $3, $4? I don't know. Man, okay. And then, I was like, okay, well, maybe this notebook is what makes the box, right? Maybe this is... This is the ticket item in this in this bundle. I don't know. Because because their journal, this is around $20, $25 on their site. Is this worth $25? I don't think so, but we're gonna look through it. I'm sorry if I sound so salty. I am trying to be really nice. But like I just wanna put all this stuff away and not even look at it anymore because it's just I it's like I feel like I got scammed. I'm sorry. Okay, anyways. This is a really pretty notebook or notepad, whatever you want to call it. It's B6 size, 50 sheets, 100 pages, back and forth, right? And it opens like this. So I don't know. It's To me, that's like a notepad instead of a notebook. I don't know. So anyways, this is the paper that's inside. I'm like, okay. I mean, I, <laughs> what makes this special? I... I read that like every one of these notebooks that they put in the box has a different cover. So that's cool. And I mean, it is really pretty. And you can see the the shimmer and everything right there. But do I... How much would you guys pay for this? Like, I don't know. I don't think I would pay $20, $20 for this. You know, I, like touching the paper and everything. I can get something like this at Target. I don't know. So... That's that, right? Like, okay. Now let's do, I'm going to see if my niece wants this. Um, she's really into notebooks and stuff. I mean, this is a nice notebook, right? Like, it's really nice, but it's just like the price. What the heck? Okay. Like, what is worth $100 in this box? Um, hold on. This isn't working. All right. All right, so this is the journaling pack. It's packaged cute, like, okay. Thanks for the cute little ribbons, I don't know. All right, so again, this is, well, they have bundles you can purchase on their site. It's worth $25. I don't know if this is kind of like that same thing. But, so we have this, right? Well, this one's pretty cute. It says, Merry Christmas. And these are like cami papers with embossing. Pretty cute. Not gonna lie, if you look on AliExpress, you can find these on AliExpress. What is this? I think this is a sticker, I'm guessing. We have some pretty vellum. All right, that, that's pretty cute. So, I mean, you get random little things for your journal, which I like. I like that. Do I think it's worth $25? Probably not, because like I said, you can get a lot of these over an AliExpress for super, super cheap. So, I mean, it's nothing new. You know what I mean? I don't... Man, I just feel like I just, you know, I got ripped off and I'm still a little bit sad about it because I was really looking forward to this and I was very excited about it and like I told you guys I even tried to get one for my friend which I'm so glad that I wasn't able to because I don't want her to spend that money on this because my goodness anyways so you can see here would you pay $25 for all these pieces of paper that you might maybe one day use so that's that. Um, that's everything. So we have a bundle or a thing of paper, a washi sticker sheet, just one though, just one, a notebook, a pouch. I believe the stamp came in this pouch, the pen, a washi, tea towel, two postcards, and a print. $118. Okay, 
So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and put all this away. Let me know your thoughts down below. I apologize if I sound cranky or not super happy, but that's because I'm not super happy. You know, I'm so sad. Anyways, I will try to use these though in my journals because I mean, I spent the money. I'm not just gonna not use it. Like I better use these items now, right? So, okay. That's it for now. I'll check in with you guys again later. On a happier note, I hope. <laughs> Okay, so before I end this video, I thought I would kind of just quickly share with you my current fountain pens. I mean, this is what's in my storage right now. I have more that are inked up, which I will have a video of soon. I filmed an unboxing and also a currently inked video. So you'll see that soon. But before that, I want to show you this. So I'm looking at this, my three trays of pens. And I mean, I know I don't have the biggest collection. I really don't. But I I don't know. Like, I just want to streamline it. Um, there are some pens in here it's like that I love. And I love having. But I haven't used some of them. And some, it's like I used it once. And that was that. It's like I have no other desire to ever use it again, if that makes sense. It's like I tried it, now on to the next. Like, it's not love. It's not something that I reach for constantly. So, I told myself in 2024, I want to streamline my collection and really just have the ones that I absolutely love and that I actually just reach for. Like, I don't want to have pens, just have pens. I know there's so many colors out there that I'm like, oh my gosh, I want that. And some of my collection is like that. Like, you know, a collection or a line will be released and I'm like, I must have every color. And it's like, no, you don't. You really don't. So I'm going to go through each one. Like, I'm planning on filming a 2023 um, fountain pen collection video so that's coming soon hopefully really really soon and in that video I do plan on really getting into into like which ones I'm selling and all of that so right now I'm just gonna kind of over like give you an overview of what I do have in these trays um and kind of give you an idea of what you will see in that collection video that will be sold that makes sense I don't know I just I'm trying to do it it's really hard it's hard for me to let go of things um some of this have sentimental value but again I never use it and some of these haven't even used all of 2023 and it's just like I should just I should just sell it so it can go to a nice home where it will be totally loved you know what I mean okay so without further ado here it is so I have my drawer full of Covecos. Um, I do have one Pro Gear Slim in here, which I absolutely love. So I did have another Pro Gear Slim, sold it last year, and now I only have this one, and I love it. These Covecos, I haven't used in like a year and a half. I don't remember the last time I used them. So I actually plan on selling these four right here. So I will only have two Coveco Sports left. And these are the, this one's the collection, and then this one is just a normal one, the Skyline, I mean. So, yeah, I'm selling these, so if you're interested, you know, let me know or stay tuned for my selling video. Um, and then I have uh, this drawer. This one, love and hate relationship with some of these. Um, okay, so love this, that's staying. This is my new Twisby, it's not there right now, it's actually drying up. Um, so keeping that, I actually really like the Twisby. This guy I will be selling, I honestly haven't used it in forever. Like, I think I, I inked it up once, used it for a bit in my, um, gardening planner, which you guys know totally failed, so that was that. Like, I, it's, it's just there, and I have no desire on keeping it, to be honest. 
my decimal dead sting. This one I'm iffy. I really want to keep it. I think I'll, I'll give it another try. I did put Lady Rose in this, which is a really dry ink. And it doesn't help that this is an extra fine, so it's not the best combination of writing. Um, so I'll give this another go. I love that one. This is my Peniter. I really love this and the quill nib, but I just never reach for it. And I write so small. My handwriting looks terrible with this pen, so this is going to be sold as well. My Caveco, I think I might keep this just because it is one of my first um, fountain pens. Okay, and then I have the JRs. These will be sold. Um, and then I have my SDs. I only have three SDs. I love this one. I'm thinking of keeping this one and selling this one. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just... I don't know. I, I would much rather have the blue than, the, than this one. I do love this, not gonna lie, but I think I'm gonna sell it. So, yeah. And these are my only two Labons that I think I'm gonna keep. I'm debating on selling this one, but honestly, this one has such sentimental value to me. Um, if anything, I do want to get it grind down. It's a little bit too thick, but then again, the ink that I had in it was a wet ink. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll try that out again. So, from this tray, I'm definitely going to be selling my 95S, um, the Peniter, the two Esther Brooke here, and this SD. Okay, and then I have my Sailors. Okay, I love these. Sailor Profits. I, I just, I love them. I love the shape, everything. So that's staying. And these are my um, Pro Gear Slims. So actually from here, I'm thinking of selling this one. This is very hard. I don't know if I should keep this one or this one. I have to see which nib I prefer, but one of these will be going. I think I'm going to lean more towards this one. I'm going to keep the blue because that's honestly my only blue in my collection. So this is for sure. These, I'm not sure yet. And oh, this is very hard. I think this one is going to be sold as well. Um, because I have a lot of pinks. But I don't know, you guys. I don't know. So... That's just that. Um, we'll see. I'm very iffy about these three. You know, like I'm very iffy about them. I do want to kind of keep this one because this is my very first sailor. Um, and I think I do like how this one writes more than this one. I think this is a fine nib. This is a medium fine. I don't know. I'm very iffy. This one, I don't, I don't know. Do I love it? I'm not sure. I haven't even used it, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I've ever inked that one up. So I'm a little... A little um, confused with those but for sure I do want to sell this one it's just something I don't think I'll ever reach for especially now that I have this brown one I prefer that brown so that's that um, yeah so let's see we have four Cavecos for sale over here this one this 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 and this and then over here, this one for sure, and maybe one of these. I'm not sure yet. So that's pretty much it. So that kind of gives you guys an idea on what's going to be sold in my upcoming video. Um, again, I'm hoping to do that really soon. I do kind of want to sell more of my sailors, but at the same time, it's very hard because I do love them. But, you know... <sighs> so I'm also going to be selling some of my pen cases, um, organizers, and stuff like that. So just stay tuned. I, I need to declutter. I have so much stuff. I also have a pile of Traveler's Company regular size um, covers and inserts. I just want to get rid of them. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't love them anymore, and I haven't used them in like a year and a half so I'm just gonna sell it and you know I really hope these items will find a good home so yeah just let me know in the comments if you're interested if you want you can DM me as well over on Instagram um send me a message so like when I do my listing um I usually 
when I do my listings, I usually send it out first to the people who told me they wanted it. So I'm going to ask you for your email and all of that. You will be the one of the first to see the listings before I announce it publicly and everyone else can buy it. You know what I mean? So you, whoever messages me for their, if they're interested in any of and any of the stuff that I'm selling, um, you know, you kind of get first dibs in that way. So anyways, that's it. I'm gonna go for now. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't even know what's on it. I've been vlogging, I feel like, for like a week and stuff. And yeah, today is also Monday. It's actually very nice outside, but tomorrow, I think it starts tonight at 3 a.m. Or tomorrow night, 3 a.m., until so Tuesday 3 a.m. until like Wednesday um, mid morning it's supposed to be snowing nonstop so there's supposed to be a winter storm and I had to already do so many phone calls today like I had to organize Mia's um, vaccinations sushi's um, checkup and then I had to reschedule Mia's um, grooming appointment because it's supposed to be tomorrow and there's no way I'm gonna drive through a winter storm tomorrow because it's like 40 minutes away from our house and it's really far and I just I don't want to deal with that so anyways yeah been a long day already I feel like and it's only eight I have I nope it's nine o'clock already yep been just sitting here doing stuff um anyways I have to go get my workout in for the day and then edit a vlog edit this vlog so you can see it so okay that's it bye loves i will see y'all soon in my next video wednesday i'm trying to really upload monday wednesday thursday full videos and then tuesdays and thursdays i will have reels for you guys um so yeah that's kind of my schedule wish me luck thanks for being here i'll see y'all soon in my next one <laughs>